Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iOS. So let's get started on your settings. We're going to tap there. Now, you should see an option here about updates. If you don't, it's okay. Just go down into general. Once we are in general, go into software update, which is our second option. But before we do that, just in case, make a backup using iCloud. Now, you guys can do that selecting your first option right here in your settings. Or if you've got no more space, go right into your computer, hook up your iPad to your computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC. On PC, you would use iTunes on Mac Finder in order to make that backup and even update if you're having any problems. But anyways, right now we're not gonna be using a computer. We're just gonna go right into software update. From here, you should see this. And if you don't see anything, you can turn on and off automatic updates. That's gonna refresh things or just restart your iPad. Anyways, down here, you're going to see upgrade to iPad OS 16. Just tap there. We're going to see this. We can go on and tap on download and install. It will ask you for a passcode if you have one. Then you're going to see this. Tap on agree. Agree again. And then from there, it's going to start downloading. After it is done downloading, it's going to install. So you could just leave your iPad just hooked up to some electricity. That way, it's not going to turn off on you when it's doing the installation process. That's the most important part. If it turns off, maybe runs out of battery when you're downloading this thing, no big deal. It's not a huge deal. But if it turns off when it's installing, then glitches happen. You might have to restart it. And that's why we make that backup just in case something wrong happens. We can always go on and just load up everything that we had from before. And that's why I always recommend making that backup. Regardless, you do need at least 50% of your battery. But once again, even if you're 100%, I still recommend having it hooked up to some electricity so you can run it that way. If you guys want to find out more information, you can tap on more and you're going to see this more information about it. So it's going to tell you a little bit more about this. Now, yes, iOS 16 did come out way before for iPhones and it took quite a bit of time for iPads, but it's finally here. Now they call it iPad OS 16, same thing as iOS 16 for iPad. Not all iPads are compatible, obviously. So it depends which generation of iPad you've got. For example, you could have an iPad mini, but if you don't have one of the latest generations, then it might not be compatible with this latest update. So once again, this process will only work for all iPads that are compatible. And for those of you who are looking for a way to install this latest iPad OS and your iPad's not in the list of compatible iPads, I'm sorry to say, you're going to kind of waste your time looking around for ways around it because it just never happens. This has been an ongoing thing forever and there is no way to install the latest OS on any, any iPhone or iPad that's not compatible with it. And that's because the hardware itself cannot handle it. So even if you come across jailbreaking or anything like that, it's not gonna fix any issues. Not that jailbreaking is bad, it's actually a great thing. You can do a bunch of things with jailbreak, it opens up a whole new world. However, you still can't update to the latest iOS or iPad OS. Other than that, later on, we're gonna see this as uh, install button. We're gonna press there, we're gonna get an Apple logo loading bar, it's just gonna restart, and then we're gonna be done with the update. All right, so at this point, it's done downloading, so we can just tap on install now. It's going to verify the update. It's going to turn off. We're going to see an Apple logo in a loading bar. All right. After we see that Apple logo in a loading bar, it's just going to restart. Then we're going to see this right here. Swipe up. It's going to ask you for your code if you have one to get in. And that's it. We can go right into our settings and check out that everything went okay. And we are, in fact, into the latest iPad OS. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.